One. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Shenanigans. Rock. You know, make sure you check out that quote. And Mo. Anyway, we see the. We see the. Uh... <laughs> no, no, hold, hold on. I, I have to say, I think it was Twig Taco. He got like a 16, 16, 10, 10, 12, 14, or something like that. Like, it was an amazing. Really good fair, character. Man. All right. But yeah, we see lizard bros. You see lizard men, lizard folk, lizard people. You can't really tell if they're male or female, but they're a group of lizard, humanoid lizards with spears. They're lizard men. Sure. That's what they're listed as in the book. They're lizard men. Yep. In second edition, fifth edition, they changed to lizard folk to be more inclusive, which I'm back. Anyway, there they are. Yeah, we still man battle stations. Um, do you? Yeah. And it's pretty funny to hear uh, one of the female officers yell, I'm the man in charge. That was amazing. It was yeah. hilarious. Well, you used to call female officer sir, don't you? No. Ma'am? Madam? Ma'am. Ma'am? Okay. Yep. Definitely heard female officers called sir a few times, and depending on the situation, it was either hilarious or just... Hmm. Whatever. Eh. Anyway, like whatever. Um. So, the lizards are coming at you. Uh, let's roll for initiative. Okay. Howard and Victor are caught by surprise. No one alerted them. Wait, they're coming at us. It's just unprovoked ta attack. They are coming out of the water, and yes, I mean, they're coming at we you. We don't with even spears. have time to talk with them and dick around at all. <laughs> These ones. I mean, ones, the goblin yeah. made sure that, like, they, 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 like, I thought pretty much they were hostile, like, they would attack on sight. Like, that's what I was getting from the goblins. Basically. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Thank you. Um, initiative rolls, everybody, because here come lizard folks. Well, aren't I Probably going to go last. Anyway. Except for you two. Oh. Uh, Howard and Victor Ooh. don't get to play in this round because they were distracted. Oh my god, Ooh, Rock. That's amazing. That's never happened the best before. Second roll. <laughs> You're right, I don't think that's happened where I've had a seven happened. for initiative. Uh, Mo? Man. Speed of a dagger is two. <laughs> he still goes that far. All right. Pretty good. Mo, you're the first one to act. I run behind the rock. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The first. And no, yes. From there, can I throw daggers? Oh, yeah. Yes. All right. One now, one, one at the end of the round. With one HP, you better. Throwing daggers have a rate of fire of three. When you're, oh, oh, throwing, throwing daggers. Got it. One now, two yeah. at the end of the round. For a whole D two. <laughs> That's pretty good. Now, does the does you like, are you like like hiding by his legs, like throwing him between his legs? <laughs> That's a good question. How are you standing behind the rock throwing these things? Uh, I mean, I'm he, he gonna, probably like I'm peeks peek around my leg and throw them. behind my leg. Right. You hurl your first dagger, hitting a lizardman square in the sternum. Whoa, four. Wait a minute, how the hell did you, it's D3 damage, but how did you get plus four to hit? Uh, plus three for dex and plus one for being a halfling with a thrown weapon. Hmm. Three for dex comes from 17 dex? 18 because you gave me 17 oh. and half and you get plus one along with their minus one strength but when you're 65 don't you get penalties to dex no just to strength and con oh mm. how convenient yeah um well wonderful it's a d3 for damage please unless you want to keep the two the thro throwing daggers are d3 normally so d2 for halflings i'm assuming uh, -uh. nope same same damage, you're good. D3. Or you can keep the two if you want. Your call. I'll I'll just keep the two because I'm sure I'd roll a one. <laughs> Alright. Your dagger uh, lands in the sternum of a lizard folk who has no expression or reaction to it whatsoever, much like a regular lizard. Um <laughs> The first two lizards burst from the water, including the one with the dagger in it, and come at the rock. Spears raised these like uh, wicker shields in their arms that really don't look all that sturdy. Like they'll probably block a blow or two, but they're probably not too difficult to break apart either. And try and stab you, Rock. 
The first one gets an 18, and the second one gets a 13 to hit you. That 1-8 is exactly what he needs. All right. The obsidian spearhead pierces your armor for eight points of damage, cutting you deeply. Max damage, 2d4. Oh. Wait, why do they get better spears than we do? Your spears are 2d4, too. Oh, they are? I thought they were d6. No, mm, everything's been well. updated, 2d4. Um, very well. Uh, so that's, those are the, those guys done. At this point, Victor and Howard become aware of what's going on. Victor's got like mud on his face, <laughs> yeah, and Howard's yeah. like just picked up your cat, and you're like, oh my god, there's lizard people there. Um, but Rock, it's your turn. All right. Well, to the one that stabbed me, I'll uh, I'll slash him in half. Oh yeah. my <laughs> you do. god! <laughs> you do. I told you I was gonna slash him in okay. half. Okay. So so rock. Does he just cut both sword. of them in half? Like I've got to ask. There's just like two guys in front of him. Does he even distinguish? Roll three times damage dice, and we're just gonna see where this takes us. All right. Oh, oh my god! god. The rock god. brings down his sword. It initially looks like he must have missed, and then the two halves of the lizard person slowly fall away. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> one had... After I just like slice him half, I'm like, yeah, it hurts, done it. Well, they, the two of these two had 10 and 12 HP, respectively. One of them had already taken two points of damage. So yeah, <laughs> screw it. You you cut them both in half. They die. Um, the other lizards run into the water and disappear. All right. <laughs> they, they just they just fucking take off uh, and disappear yeah. under the water. Yeah, if I can at least like stun test. I, I hold up, I hold up my other throwing daggers that I was gonna throw at the end of the round. That's right, you run. You don't yeah, you come up in here, you gonna get dunked on. No. I, I I don't think I even like. Did I even get like any reaction really? Because like I was like just covering my oh. my 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 face with mud and like like oh, something happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where did those dead lizards come from? Yeah, like what? Rock, what did you do? Uh, I dunked on him. What do you think? Yeah. Howard just notices like a spoon Get and then kills you. On. Right. The first for two points of damage with the cure moderate wounds and then eight for a cure light wounds. Who are you curing? The rock. Why? Oh, oh he, he did take tip damage. I forgot about that. <laughs> I was so caught up in he was in so his... distracted by that by him just like caught him in totally half. forgot he took damage. Okay. Cool. You're good, Rock. You're good. <laughs> no, you see I, I invested in some necromancy from uh divinity. Mm. So I just healed back. <laughs> I healed yeah. back. Well, here all about you them are. crits. Alright. So all right. we're at the ruins. Yep, you're at the ruins. Um, you've been spotted, and the surviving lizard folk did retreat. So God knows how long until they're going to come back, if they're going to come back at all. I mean, that was pretty impressive. They might just be gone for all time. Yeah, I wouldn't. I mean, I'd give them, like, a lot of credit if they decided to come back after watching two guys get cut in half with one swing. Like, Yeah. Well, um, what do you do? You're in this ruin, this overgrown ruin. How big was the ruin, you said? You, you have yet to explore it, but it looks like it. this is the, the center of a town. And only the, the stone buildings have survived. It could have been much larger if there were wooden buildings around, but right now it's just kind of, I don't know. From what you can see, it's maybe 100 buildings, but it, it could continue further. Okay, you have I'm to explore look, more. I'm going to look for like any kind of signs of like... Uh, um, Perhaps nobility is it, is, is it possible? Like any kind of like, you know, maybe someone of like a noble line live mm -hmm. here. Right. But, okay. Um, what else? Are, what are the rest of you guys doing? And then I'll figure out what rules you're making. I'm just looking through the first house. I see that's, you know, semi intact. Okay. Not just like a few crumbling walls. Sure. Mo, what you doing? I'm sharing 
how there's a ruin, maybe not quite as impressive as this, out by Old Pepper Ridge, of old the old hair feet place. And well, now you know some people say it's haunted. Now I can't say for sure, but this one time when I was there, and I you know tell the whole story of it's clearly not a ghost and blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. You had you had the chance for the lizard men to go after him, Neil. What? You had a chance to send the lizard men after Rock. Oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> uh, uh, Rock, what are you doing? Uh, I'm still doing my victory dance. Duh. I just uh, feel like victory dancing my way there. Yeah, to see you know to find anything interesting. I'm I'm looking for a quest marker. All right. So, can I get Victor to give me a perception check? Nope. Um, can I get? Can I give you an, an heraldry? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I need you to search the area for me. Okay. Um, you know what? You can, because you are looking for something fairly specific and you're fairly knowledgeable about this. You could give me a wisdom check instead, if you want, or a willpower check. Um, um, no, let's grab that. An intelligence check instead, if you'd like. Instead of a perception, your choice. Should I, should I re-roll it? Yeah, uh, yeah. Just... Re-roll. Pick your favorite and re-roll. All right. No. <laughs> All right. Made no Damn. difference. Okay. Okay. I'm so looking. you guys are, are searching through this ruin, looking for signs of civilization, signs of knowledge, signs of nobility, maybe signs for library. I don't know. You're you're looking for things. Um. And, oh god, those are just terrible checks across the board. Let's give a... Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, that puts you them here. Okay, uh, it takes you about an hour before you find a still standing structure. Uh, it's, it's hidden kind of behind some other ruined things. And there's a bunch of vines and trees that grew over it, and you didn't really notice it at first. It is, uh, it's been tilted off its foundation slightly, and water has come in uh, since like right at the edge of the lake, is partway through the building up until the, the water level. Uh, but the back side of the building, past the, the ruined interior, is a, a spiral staircase that descends into the earth. This is the only building here that is actually intact. Everything else is at least 40% destroyed, mostly 60 plus. Well, Neil, Mm -hmm. can I make a stonemasonry proficiency check to, uh, well, to see just how stable this structure is we're going into? Yes, please do. Okay. Luckily, it's the same exact. Okay. Oh, you know, it seems pretty stable. Okay. That's, Seems that's pretty bad. stable. That's bad. Definitely. What are you guys going to do? Well, I mean, if it's the only it. thing standing, really. He seems to think it's stable, so why shouldn't we go in? Right? right. You guys descend. The staircase. Yes, of course. I mean, he said it seems stable, so of course. Right. Yeah. Um, right. You head down into a sub room, a uh, basement one might call it, that is filled with uh, rotting books. Uh, there's a lot of paper here that they're just kind of like falling apart. They're not looking very good. Uh, pages are like stuck together. There's like plants growing through this book. There's a, a small tree growing out of this one into this like little light shaft that comes just through the, the spiral staircase and through this hole up above. And there's like a little sprout growing up here. Uh, the place reeks of bat guano and just kind of like fungus and mold. Oh, great. We need that for fireball. <laughs> Mungus? No, father, bat guano. Bat guano. Isn't that like, isn't that like a standard? Yes, it is. Yeah. Very clever. Very, very per- good memory. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's. If it says it's for fireball, I'll put some in a little bag as a present for Zen. So I, can tell you, I, got him, I got him a bag of crap. Yeah, you did. <laughs> He'll probably be too drunk to realize that I literally got him a bag of crap. Yep. 
Okay, so you're down here um, in this shithole. What are you guys gonna do? I mean, they, I don't know. I don't uh, remember what the quest said. We were just told <sighs> once, very quickly, in a very complicated way. Grab the nerd stuff. You had nothing. You're looking for books or nerd manuscripts stuff. or anything regarding to Caldonia. Yeah. At this point, I'm just gonna look for anything intact. Mm-hmm. Right. Give me uh, search checks for this room. Perception checks, please. Across the board. Hey. Oh my god. Hey. What would be the, uh, would it still be a perception check for, like, looking to trying to, like, find any kind of, like, secret entrances? Or Definitely a perception check for that one. Okay. Let's see. Nope. I love your roles there, Victor. So Victor's like looking for a secret passageway. You're on this like section of wall. You're feeling and you're feeling here and here. And Howard comes up to you and kind of just like leans against the wall and like puts his elbow right on the right brick. And the whole brick just depresses and the wall shifts and moves to the side. <laughs> and the best part is he like does it on purpose too. Yeah. <laughs> He's just watching like, really? All right. Um, yeah, sure enough, Howard has found a, a secret passageway in this basement. Ooh. Excellent. Um, and with that 29, Howard, mm. you don't just see the secret passageway, but you notice in the dim light that comes from the little bit of sun that comes through the, the hole and everything, there are footprints on the other side of this passageway. This is not something that has been hidden for ages. This is a passageway that has been in fairly recent use. If anyone has well, a tracking sort of... skill, you can try and figure out how recent these tracks are. I don't know how recent they are, but I can put my boot next to them. Step down, step up. Does it look like someone who wore a boot or some mm -hmm. sort of shoe? No. Mm. All right, but that's looks... about the extent of my... Uh, thinking on that part. Would a, would a okay. dancing proficiency help? <laughs> <laughs> no, unfortunately not. Are these well, footprints at all religious? Will it a religion proficiency do? <laughs> you know what? I'm kidding. Just start making me proficiency checks, and I'll tell you if they help you. No, <laughs> all right, geology for idiots. Let's go. Yeah. I'll do I another stonemason roll well. because all I have to do is hit up and roll again. <laughs> You, no, nothing, <laughs> nothing for anyone. You guys are, to be honest, I don't know how you've gotten this far today with these terrible, terrible rolls. Like, I know, right? They've been like, look at the past rolls, five, five, four, six. Honestly, really? you guys should have died to goblins, but somehow you're here. No, somehow. You mean they would have died to goblins. I would have cut all the goblins in half in one fell swoop. And then I would have cut all the lizard men in one fell swoop. I, I mean, I kind of did with them, but... Yeah. You only got two of them, all right? There were five. But the rest of them ran away like the little scared All right, they yeah, are. yeah. Uh, we killed 40% of the forces <laughs> in one attack, so I mean... All right, all right, you're down here. Okay. You see these prints. Does anybody else have the eerie sensation that we were able to get through other things very quickly because the gods have something special in store for us here that they spent a lot of time on and want to put, put us up against and see us suffer. I always have Can I feeling. just like, you know, just lightly smack him on the face? Just like a it, soft, yeah. a soft bitch slap and just say, stop being so meta. All right. Well, now I'm almost thinking about not giving you a sour cake when I bake my next batch. <laughs> so what they oh, did to the right. goblins. What are you guys going to do? Was a, that was a good cake. Uh, well, get into filing order. Yep. Yeah, pull out my little continual light lamp, hook it to my belt. Since I, yeah. And so keep I can't walking. Like, uh, I, uh, I'm trying to look for like secret secret entrances, but like since Howard seems to be like you know, you know pretty uh, you know he seems to yeah I don't know 
No, okay. okay. So I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best, like to feel around, but uh, everyone else, like you know, oh, it's over here. And like you know what? Yeah. Yeah. All, All right. right. So, how wide is this hallway that we've opened up? Five feet. Well, like three feet. It's a okay. narrow passage. Mm. All right. Um, Not for the halfling. <laughs> no, it's, it it's a grand hallway for the halfling. Yeah. All right, so rock howard. I think, uh, I think I and my hit point will take up the rear. I don't know. What if something attacks from behind? Then it might miss, miss me and hit the person taller than me in front of me in the back. Can't argue with that. Okay. I'll be behind the rock. I guess I'll be behind Howard. Though. All right. Rock, you're going first. Mm -hmm. Passageway goes for a pretty good distance. It goes like a, a good 60 feet or so. Uh, I take it you are using your continual light stones to see because it's getting dark. <laughs> uh, yeah, I already said I'd take out my continual light lantern and attach it to my belt. Good. There's a lot of talking. Um, okay. You, you can see the path before you, which, oddly enough, grows drier and drier as you walk. I mean, clearly you're walking away from the lake, so it makes sense that it's drier. But the humidity down here is beginning to dissipate entirely to the point that you well, feel course. like you're in like a, un, a, a, a you know, like 10% humidity environment. Oh, of course. We're underground and we're walking away from the lake. So therefore, there's less water everywhere. Can't fault the rock's logic there. Yep. There you go. Makes perfect sense. Guys, it's totally fine. Okay. Yep. Trying to isolate the source of the wind noise. Ah, it's Rob. Is there something? Is there a fan in your room, Rob? No, somebody's using the shower. Oh, okay. I'm right, fine then. No worries. Wow. That's um, not much I can do about that. No, no. We'll be fine. Sure you can. You can turn off the hot water. <laughs> <laughs> Just go flush in toilets. Um, excellent. So, you guys head back towards this uh, uh, back edge of this passageway. And you come across these weird tangling roots that jut up through the stones in the ground and kind of come out all towards you a little bit to like very fine points. It looks like, it's like someone had carved these roots to be like spear points headed in your direction, except they don't look like they've been touched by metal or stone. They look like they are naturally grown into spear points facing in your direction. Watch out guys, this is probably- oh, That seems almost like some sort of druid spell. It mm. feels like, um, it's like a magical thing. Could be. Could be anything. I uh, like I take out my rapier and I like, kind of like poke it a bit. Feels like wood. Hmm. Oh, I mean, if it feels like wood, guys, I got this. I'll take out my long sword, not my two-hander, and I'll just like hack away all the sharp bits. Hmm. You start hacking into these things. Um, you are in front. Of, who's directly behind you, Howard? Yep. Mm -hmm. Howard, give me a perception check, and The Rock, give me a perception check at disadvantage, please. What are these rolls? These are wonderful. I love them. Oh, well, look at that. It doesn't matter. Wow. Wonderful. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <sighs> From single digits weather to single digit rolls. Nice knowing you guys. It was. There was a 1 in 400 chance for that to happen, kids. Yeah. There... That is a misleading statistic. It's technically accurate, but presented in a way that it's more meaningful yep. than it actually is. Um, more meaningful? Than it or actually less meaningful is. than it actually No, yeah, it was presented in a way that is, makes it sound as if it's more meaningful. Mm. Um, Rock, would you please give me a saving throw versus spell? Yes. Ah, it's gonna be fun, we need... No. Excellent. Wonderful. That's a beautiful failure there, Rock. 
Uh, oh, thank you. Thank you. I, I pride myself because you always learn from a failure. You do. You're going to be a professor, it sounds like. <laughs> uh, you notice as you're hacking these things, you're, you're working up a sweat. And then mm. you're like, wait a minute. This is... I, this is more than working. I shouldn't be. I, I'm in pretty good shape. I shouldn't be getting like. I shouldn't be overheating this quickly. And you begin to. You kind of check around on you, and you notice your armor is beginning to heat up. It's warming mm. to the touch. It's uncomfortably warm after God knows how long this has been going on. But all of a sudden, you're like, Oh my God, my armor is really fucking hot. All right. Yeah. Uh, I start taking it off. Can I immediately try to squeeze him for another rock? You can. Rock, what are you wearing for armor? Uh, that's a great question. Oh, yeah, splint mail. Splint mail. Let me see how long it takes to take off splint mail. Ooh, it's in... Quite a while. My... Where is it? Two-point kneel, I think, is the thing that has that. Um, I think Don't I worry, adjusted guys. it a little bit to make I more sense. I have a workaround if he doesn't want to let me hold my sword. Uh, getting out of armor, single pieces, chain mail, leather, studded, leather, robes, etc. require a single round to put on with or without help. Um, need to get into armor, removing armors more quickly. Plate takes this. Da -da 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 -da. Um, most can be shed in a single round. All right, so it's just going to take you this uh, the next round to take off your armor entirely. That's so fine. we're going to roll initiative so we can see if you get your armor off before you just begin flat, to take damage. Flat d10. Flat d10, please. Plus three. Do you want a plus three on there? Uh, you know what? Yeah, you are interacting with an object, please. D10 plus Very three. Well. All right, you shed your armor, throw it to the ground as it begins to glow with heat. Meanwhile, Howard has pushed to in front of you and is standing in between the rows of spikes. Behind ha behind Rock now is Victor. Victor, what are you doing? I was poking the uh, stakes of the uh, branches. Yeah, and you, you see that the Rock starting to take off his armor and he throws it on the ground and the his armor begins to glow with heat. What are you doing? Like, well, I don't know. Maybe it looks like the armor's hot. <laughs> Howard, what are you doing? Uh, I'm tossing my continual light pebble up for their head so I can see whoever's doing this. You toss it down the hallway. And at the end of it, the hallway opens up into a room with a meticulously swept clean floor of very decent looking stones. And there are about a half dozen lizard men, including one of them with a staff in one hand and uh, kind of like bits of bone dangling from what looks to be bits of sinew all over it, almost like a, a shawl of interwoven bone and sinew, uh, <laughs> who has the staff kind of pointed in the direction of you guys and is swirling it in a circle. Can I... Uh, Does this a... immediate change Hold on, Simon, of light? what were you saying? Oh, sorry. My bad. Like as I, like he said, cast this stone, like this illumination happens. Like, can I uh, throw a dagger at him? Yes. Better You're gonna start him. making an attack. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty far though. I think that's actually out of dagger range. He's like thirty yards away. Uh, um, what's the range for dagger? Five, ten, fifteen yards for short, medium, long. Yeah. I guess I. Uh, hmm. I'll try to, like, we're obviously under attack, so I'm trying to uh, instead and try to hack the uh, the branches, I guess. Sure. The, the branches are spiky. They don't, they don't entirely block your way. I'm sorry if that was, made, okay. it made it look like they were, like, they're there, they're dangerous. If you fall forward or get pushed forward, you could hurt yourself on them seriously, but you can squeeze in between them, they're like, flanking the sides of the path. Okay. Um, a bit more clear in my description. So you but, are. Uh, you're gonna do what? How are we? I'm gonna. Can I, move I thought up? my round. Well, was my I'm round sorry. I said Howie. Stone? I meant I meant Victor, but I said Howard. That's my fault. Victor, what are you doing? 
Can I move up and uh, throw a dagger? Yeah. So you're gonna move forward. Now, Howard, what are you doing? Well, was my whole round throwing that pebble? Yeah, that were kind of bringing us to the next round, digging out your pebble from somewhere, well, chucking it down. Do I get to have some daggers this first round? Yeah, I'm just going by one person at a time. Um, okay. So we start with Victor. Howard, you're going to do what? Uh, well, if I get another turn, I'll go and cast Hold the Person. Hmm, okay. The Rock, what are you doing? I'm looking down at my armor, all sad like. Think but how about how many how many lizard mans can I see in there? Half dozen. Um, that's six. <laughs> yes, I, I, I say know. half dozen to be you know four, six, seven, somewhere in there. I, I'm like I'm I'm explaining to the rock, you know, oh, like okay. you know, like you know, that's six. Just so you know. unless they're donuts, oh, thank you. it's six and a half. <laughs> oh, thank you, half a lizard man. That's good. A baker's dozen. <laughs> Um, so while the rock well, figures out dozen is a very important number in halfling counting. How long would it, <laughs> Neil? How long yes. would it take me to put my armor back on once it's done getting hot and it cools back down? A minute. Oh, a minute. That's, oh, that's, that's one round right. of combat. Yeah. All right, yeah, that, that's no problem. Um, so, Bo, what are you doing? I'm gonna throw three daggers at the caster, see if I can disrupt the spell. Okay, you were at the you were behind three allies, and they're actually you're using real He's throwing daggers. He's also pretty daggers. short. You, they, I, it is within range for you, but there's like three friends in front of you in a kind of a, a narrow passageway. Yeah, but right now I'm not doing anything. He can just like, hey, stand aside, please. And I'm like, all right, yeah, sure. All right, but there's still two people in front of him then. So I'll let you throw daggers, but it's going to be at a penalty because there's a lot of folks in front of you. Let's all roll initiative. Like, sorry, can, can how much like of a penalty? Run under our legs and then go back. back. No? Run under let's, our legs. Let's short. roll initiative. I, I just wanted to get your initial reactions before this. We'll, we'll see what happens as it plays out because maybe he'll go first and he'll run to the front or whatever. I, I wanted your general thing is going here. Um... This is not the right combat. So I'm probing daggers, I guess. Mm -hmm. There is. There is. Ooh, there ooh, it is. What are the, what are the, um, duders holding? The three of the ones that you can see are holding spears. One of them is obscured by the sides of the hallway. Of One of them is holding a, a staff. None of them seem to be holding shields. Very well. <laughs> All right, uh, guys, we might be propellered. <laughs> oh, Simon, you're so on point today. Uh, the Rock, you are first somehow. No, that was you taking off your armor. Uh, yeah. You didn't roll initiative. I don't do it. I'm just like standing there, like I don't know. What All to right, do. Rob, Mo, it's your turn. No, no, I, I need to roll proper initiative. Oh, okay. that's my initiative. No, you're at the back of the group. You see people, like, you see Victor going for his daggers. You see Howard, I forget what he was doing. Now you see the rock looking down at his armor. It's your turn, Mo. You're gonna throw daggers, right, how are you gonna so do it? so the rock is at the front. Howard's in front of the rock now. It goes Howard, All rock, right. Victor, Mo. Can I move behind Howard and then just use him as cover to throw things? Sure. Yeah, you can okay. hide behind his leg. And I had sent you uh, a private text uh -oh. when we were just before there were lizard men mm -hmm. saying that I was stealthing in the back. Mm -hmm. Did I assassinate attack with the first dagger? Mm -mm. No. You the, the creatures are well aware that there's combat and they're in the direction that you are. Assassinate so really- aware of a, that there was also a halfling because he was super sneaky. I think I described the conditions for assassinate fairly clearly. You might want to review them, but assassinate will not work like this. All right. The, I, I think stopped must be opening things since I was hidden before. Undetected and unexpected, you know. All right. Um, and I think in the middle of combat, someone from in front of you throwing a dagger at you counts as expected. Our listenmen. All right. So it looks sounds like it's minus two for medium range. Yep. Ooh, the first dagger falls short. 
How sad. Right. The other two at the end of the round? Yes, please. All right. Um, Victor, you're next. The halfling just yeah. scurried between your legs, went up to behind Howard, hurled the dagger to no avail, and it's your turn. Yeah. I'll guess I'll hurl my dagger at the cast then. All right. Uh, let's see here. Oh my Ooh, god, nice. you crit the caster. Uh, 2d4. Huh. Is that the, uh... Uh, yeah, I believe so. Uh, four... Four damage. Ouch. All right. The caster <clears throat> takes the dagger to the chest <clears throat> and stumbles backwards. Do I get any other daggers in the round? End of the round, yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Um, what are we? Oh, by the way, sorry, Neil. That was uh -huh. not twenty. Uh, no, not twenty-two. Does that, does that matter? Yeah, the twenty-two is the single crit. So it wouldn't be a twenty instead. Sorry, I was uh, just a. Uh... Yeah. Uh, let me see. Spellers in learning spells. Back rolls from his da, 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 da. Uh, perfect. Okay. So that is the caster's turn. The next person to go would have been Howard at nine. But before this, a spearman in the front uh, takes a couple of steps towards you and hurls his spear right at you, Howard. All right. With a 20 to hit, natural 18. Well, that's a hit. All right. Spear finds a spot in your thigh, upper thigh, for five points of damage. And that was yeah. initiative seven. Uh, you're next, Howard. What are you doing? Well, my whole person was just destroyed, so. Yep. So what are you going to do? Well, I can still act. No spells, but you can move if you want, or something like that. Can I attack him? Your spell was interrupted. I'll give you attack at the very, very end of the round if you'd like. Yeah, I'll take that. Okay. Um, let's see. That's all of you guys. All right. The next three lizard men hurl spears. Howard is in front. Wow. Um, you've got pretty good AC, right? So 15 doesn't hit you? Nope. Is your AC all dex? Uh, no, it's armor. Oh, you're cleric, right? Armor and right. dex. All right. Okay. Um, two spears hit you and fall off to the ground. One fall, uh, hits the side of the wall, scrapes against it, and falls into the brambles. The caster loses his turn, and then let's get second attacks. Rob, and then Victor, and then Rob again, and then Howard. And the rocket, you were just looking at your armor, right? That's, that's yeah, I'm just like run. looking at it, and then if I see Howard moving up, I'll just be like, man mode. And I'll t pull out my one sword that is immune to heat metal. And I'll just like creep up behind Howard using him as a shield until he gets to into the room and I can just go freaking ham on him. Nice. Rob, you hit <laughs> The caster again. I, I was just imagining the rock deciding to literally use Howard as a shield. Like, <laughs> yeah. Grabs him by the belt and just lifts him up. Like an arm around Howard. <laughs> <laughs> Pick him up by that. I've got a two hander in one hand. I'm just like, let's do this. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have 20 strength yet. Oh. Rob, roll for damage. So I get an actual full D3. That's good. Yes, you do. Oh. <laughs> and Victor, second attack. As you and the halfling right. keep switching places, trying to throw daggers and pushing past the rock who's trying to push past you. And it's a combat. I'm not trying to push past him. I'm... You hit I'm again, like... Victor. Oh. Uh, the caster? Yep. One and only. Three. All right, the caster is badly wounded. Uh, well, wounded, wounded. Uh, the other lizardmen begin to close in front of him as the caster backs away. Howard, at the end of the round, pushes forward past all the spikes 
and to the entrance of this room. What are you using for a weapon? A longsword. Okay. Uh, you're going to have trouble swinging it while you're in this hallway uh, because it's, you know, a long slashing sword and you're in, like a three foot wide hallway. So I'm going to give you a penalty of two to hit with any sort of slashing weapon. Um, and like a penalty of four to hit with any sort of bludgeoning weapon. Um, piercing is still fine. Uh, ten is a miss. And we're going to roll to Rob's last attack, which I forgot to do a moment earlier. Because yeah. you get three attacks per round. Yep. That was a... Nice thing to know this was a stabbing dagger. There you go. That's a hit. Oh, cool. They've got low armor class. 13 is the number. We do two damage to one of the lizard men warriors. I'm, I'm attacking. I was attacking the. Um... Yeah, the caster like has had repositioned behind the remaining warriors. They're blocking his body with their own wonderful, faithful servants. Okay, next round initiative, boys and girls. Um, so the caster is like uh, kind of outside of range right now, right? Excellent. Right, there's a lot of lizard folk in between you and the caster. Okay. Um, is he able to maintain his heat armor, just out of curiosity? I don't know. Then? Uh, ask me afterwards, and I'll be happy to reveal the answers to you, but I'm not going to tell you in the middle of combat. Also, I have to point out, heat armor has a somatic component. We are verbal component, so we would have heard him hissing at us. I am well aware of the components. And he's well aware of what we roll on yep. our perception checks. Yes. All right. Um, eight is the first person on the player team. On the monster team, however, the first one rolled a natural one and six is seven. So it goes and stabs at whoever's in the front, which I believe is still Howard. Howard. Yep. Hope oh, that's on the edge. Uh, 14, 15, 16 to hit you, Howard. Nope. Um, spear scrapes along your side, sending showers of sparks as the obsidian hits stone. And it's your turn. My turn? Mm-hmm. No, it's Rob's turn. Oh, Rob's turn. I'm sorry. I thought you would thought your rolls were All right. Dagger one. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice shot. You hit a, a lizard man, the one fighting Howie. For two points of damage, it's a badly wounded lizard, but it's still alive. Uh, the caster goes at 10, which is tied with Howard. Um, would everybody in the party please make me saving throws versus spell? Oh, you miss, Howard. Oh, so close. So close. Mm, 19. I miss what? That's... You miss with your attack. I got it. I didn't make my attack. I thought that d20 was your roll to hit. That's Rob. Damn it. Too many... What the hell's going on here? I can't even read the chat. Um, So these are saving throws. With my attack. Sure. Can I get a save from you as well? Yeah. That's the five. Oh my god. Who... What am I missing here? Okay, no, I'm not missing anything. I'm just literally insane. Mm-hmm. So the spiky roots on either side of you guys begin to twist. It feels like that. You'd have to be. Uh, begins to twist and grab at your ankles and begin to restrain you. Victor, being the quick-witted uh, person that he is, manages to scramble up on top of somebody. Who do you scramble up on, Victor, to stay above the grabbing vines? The rock, obviously. <laughs> Call it. But that's that's why I was close. I was like about to. I was like, all right, here we go, here we go, here we go. And then he like climbs up on my back. I'm like, what the hell? All right. And then they, they get. The ceiling's not that tall, Victor. So you have to like hunch to be on top of the rock. Uh, the rest of you guys have been grasped by these spiky vines. They don't they don't cause any damage to you. There are these roots. Uh, but they come in from either side and just lock you in place in this hallway. Um, that is the person at six. Howard missed his attack. Uh, the next lizard goes at 14. So I think everybody else goes before that. I have a 13. It's you, Victor. You are on the rock. Is the, uh, is the lizard man like right in front of me? Uh, it goes rock, uh, Howard, lizard man. 
Uh, what are you gonna do? I guess I like, I, I, like from the rocks, like in a position, I'm just like, you know, diving and like trying to like pierce the Elizabeth and like in front. So are you, you're leaping from the rock like yeah. stage diving over Howard to stab at this yeah. lizard man with oh, what weapon? I can give him a boost. Yeah. If he asks Ooh. for it, I can just be like, "All right, I'm not moving this round." All right, all right. Come on, get, get come there. on, Rock. I like, I, it's like, I like so get like, cup in my hands. I'm like, all right, here we go. All right, so the Rock is going to hurl Howard, uh, hurl Victor over Howard at the lizard man. What are you using for a weapon, Victor? Uh, uh, I'm using rapier. Victor as a weapon. Yeah. I'm using a rapier. Excellent. So you're like a uh, like a missile fired. Yeah, like right over Howard's like body. I'm twirling in the air like you're like Perhaps like you have my rapier like outstretched like. Oh. All right, give me a roll to hit. I'll give you a, like a plus three for just the amazingness of the situation on top of whatever your normal bonuses are because this is pretty cool. Okay, so that's a plus seven in total. All right. Nice. Don't cock it up. <laughs> Woo! Nice. You hit him. The rapier finds purchase in the lizard man's throat. Maybe? And then you get like a thing on your phone. You get like <laughs> you fucking Hawaii. <laughs> All the lizard men phones go off. Incoming ballistic missiles. <laughs> uh, give me a damage roll, Victor. <laughs> oh, sorry. I shouldn't. Think, I, I shouldn't uh, find that funny, but it's it's okay. It's great. Uh, Don't worry, I'll be living. They, uh, medium, they're medium sized, right? Yes. Alright. One D6 plus right here. Ooh, yeah, you right. definitely land in the throat. In fact, all the way up to the basket hilt of your rapier goes against him, and the lizard topples backwards, and you find yourself getting to your feet, completely surrounded by lizard men, while the rest of your party is trapped in the narrow hallway behind you. Worth it. Um, well, that one's dead now, so he doesn't get to roll for combat. But uh, the three remaining all get to go. No, I'm sorry. No, the rock took his turn throwing. Um, yeah, that was, perfect. That's pretty much my turn. Sorry. Excellent. The three lizard men. Uh, kind of surround Howard, one in front of him, one on either side, and the caster's behind the one in front of you. Uh, and if they're going to attack you with a 10, a 14, and a 21. Howard or me? You. I keep oh. getting you guys mixed up in my brain. Oh, repeat it. 10? Uh, 10, 14, 21. Uh, 21 has hit. Uh, does it clear by five? I have 20 AC. Oh, wow, it really, really doesn't clear by five. You take seven points of damage, the lizard man oh, scrapes the spear oh, right across your belly. Four. You know, it like gets up under your armor, leaving a, a large inc incision? Yeah. Laceration, laceration. Right. Uh, next round initiative. So from where no, I, I get can I learn sort of anything? Oh, yes, get your dagger attacks. What were we going to say, Howard? From where I am, can I longsword anything? Mm -mm. No, Victor's standing in front of you. All right, Deal. time to look up. Could I try and Entangle. break out of the entangle? Yeah, you can make strength checks on your turn to try and break the entangle. That's oh, fine. if Excellent. we can do that, then I'll do that. Yeah, I mean, ask whatever you want for... Excellent. What you're doing. Uh, I wow. have a 16 and a 21. Uh, they're both going to be hits. The 21 was a 19 on the die. Is that a yeah, crit? Yeah, I'm, I'm mathing in my head because I'm Eight. giving you penalties for having uh, multiple people in front of you. I'm trying to do uh, 17. No, it's just barely. No, no, it's a crit. It's a crit. Yeah. Uh, so that's a 3d3 total for damage. Come up. Ooh, you drop. Nope, wait, that's the old hit die. Uh, you badly wound the lizard men in front of Victor. And let's roll for the initiatives, which most of us already have. We've got Victor at 10, The Rock at 4, Howard at 5, 
And Mo needs to roll initiative. At 10. Okay. So the spellcaster goes as. Not four, not three, not two, and not one. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. Better I... not. No. Spellcaster goes at 10. That's what I thought. Uh, and the first lizard man then would go at seven. So anyone that beats a seven gets to go. All Starting right. with the rock. Give me that All strength right. check. Mm. Mm. You know what? You don't break the roots off of you. You rip the roots out of the ground. They're still attached to your leg, but they're no longer attached to the earth. <laughs> I'm okay with this. Um, and you still have the problem that like Howard's in front of you and there's like a halfling in front of you too, but like I you've managed to break free. I can just like pick the halfling up. Oh wait, no, he's still held. He's still held by the roots. Hmm. But you've got right, so Howard's now. really going to be a problem. I can just step over the halfling. Halfling's not an issue, but Howard, well, he's... Howard the... goes right after me. Well, let's so, see. Yeah, Howard, let, let's do your strength check, buddy. You know what? Howard too. Well, Howard rips the roots off of him. It's not quite the same yeah. strength check, yeah. but uh, you managed to break yourself free, and the two of you can exit this area, but get no other action. Actually, you can't really exit because Victor's in your way. You guys have movement now, but um, right. you know, you, and we you're... can push Victor. We'll fire real up behind. Down down it's, not, it's not a problem to push Victor aside, really. Like, if you really wanted to. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Mo, you go at 10. You at the same time as Victor. So the two lizard men fighting Victor go for actually, yeah, all three of those lizard men are going to go first. Um, so the two on either side of you, Victor, getting plus one to hit on each of their attacks, rolls a 16 and a three, which mm -hmm. don't work. Um, and then at 10 initiative, we have Mo, Victor, and the lizard men in front of Victor, who stabs at you with an 18 to hit. Happy. Against you, Victor. Uh, 20 AC. What do you have for AC? Well, Neil, I used to have like 22 AC, like after, but after the dungeon of, uh, you know, <laughs> mutilation. The fun dungeon. Uh, yeah, the fun, the fun dungeon. dungeon. No, it's splint mail and. I have like a shield proficiency. Okay. Dexterity. Split male, shield proficiency, dexterity. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Sure. You so you had 17 like a... decks and now you have 15 decks? Mm hmm. Got it. It's like the exact same thing that, that happened with my con. Mm. 17 to 15. Beautiful, guys. Beautiful. <sighs> yeah, but uh, it's my turn. It's your turn it's... and Mo's turn simultaneously. 13 con to 16. So, do you want to go first, Robert? Does it matter? No, I want you guys to talk at the same time and take all your actions in unison. All right, okay. here we go. Uh, I'll I'm just gonna... go at the end so I can roll my three <laughs> all at once. Okay. Right, I'll stab at the lizard men. Front sides? In front of me, yeah. All right. One, one of them, at least. 14? 14 will do it. Uh, let's see here. Four damage. Ooh. That guy is not doing so hot, let's say. Uh, I get a, I a second attack, attack at the end of the round. Yeah, yeah the second attack. Um, yeah. The lizard men, uh, cleric, shaman, casty thingy, pass casty. a spell and touches himself in his wounded places. Oh, okay, Neil. I get it. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, Rob. No. What do you got for us, buddy? All right, well, let's see what we can do as far as a dagger storm. Are we any closer to these things now? Have they come up to us? Are we still... What's You're all still kind of stuck in the single file. It's short range for you at this point in time. All right. But there's, like, people in front of you, so I want to give you a penalty of two to hit. Um, Aren't you also, the... like, held? Oh yeah, yeah, and your feet both... are held, so a total penalty of four for you because you're really stuck. You're in a bad situation, Mo. But you're... I'm just throwing daggers. I'm not meleeing. That's true, but like you still, you know, you you need to move your legs to throw. You need like to be able to have some momentum. If you're stuck in like a just an awkward position, it's not an optimal. Like maybe if you were stuck in proper dagger throwing stance, but when you're like 
you well, know? To be fair, he was I, already like, throwing daggers. One dagger, and I was about to throw another one when I got... Being entangled gives you minus two to attacks. <laughs> so what is my total negative then? Four. Even you, Rob. Go ahead. All right. So, so you're making four. regular thief attacks. Uh, no, no. There you go. That'll hit. That'll actually clear by five. That'll crit. Even with your held and your the people in front of you, you somehow manage to like fling a dagger that turtles upside down end over end and like skewers a lizardman under the... <laughs> no. no. You know what, it hits like the underside of the jaw, but that's not really a weak point. So it causes some discomfort to the lizard man, but nothing nothing too serious. One can wonder, why does he pull all these daggers from? <laughs> I bought 12 freaking throwing daggers. Ooh, okay. very nice. All right, that's very nice. That's why I was very concerned about the weight of everything. Uh, let's go to the next round of initiative here. The caster. What's he going to do? He doesn't have another heat metal spell. If I had realized Howard's AC was so high, he definitely would have used it on Howard. I don't even or have not, the highest fucking one. Victor, I mean Victor. I keep, I don't know why I keep mixing you two up somehow. Yeah, that would have gone so well for you, Neil. So well for the caster. Honestly, this is probably the best thing he could have done. Mm-hmm. Because if I still had 18 AC, I'd probably be waiting through the thick of them, slicing them up one by one. Wow. And this... I wouldn't be so worried. Oh. Now I'm waiting through there with 12 AC, and they've not been rolling much lower than 12. Nope. Uh... Got like a 50-50 to hit you with 10 A, uh, with plus two they got. Yeah. And these guys are not doing 50-50-90. Oh. Uh, Neil. All right. Yeah. Uh... I should have gotten another attack at the oh, end of the yes. round. Oh, yes. Please get your second attack at the end of the round. Well done. Uh, against the super injured, super injured right. lizard. Right. The, the one who's barely clinging to life. Uh, you miss him. You miss him. Can we get an initiative for Mo? Oh, or the next round? Sorry. Yes, please. I guess I missed the progression. What is your, your character's last name? Does it Does your character have a last name, Mo? He's from the Saad family. So Mo Saad? Yes. Also, don't you have to be like a noble to have the last name in this? Uh, generally, there you go. Yeah, generally humans only have first names. Halflings are different socially. They can, they can oh, have okay. last names. Uh, uh, almost. Uh, that's slash E space S uh, 10 my plus fingers, two. Uh, but that's My all right. fingers were on the wrong keys. D yeah. and plus two. It's almost a macro. Almost a macro. Very close. Ooh, five is actually the fastest person. All right, Mo. The, these humans are are slow, dimwits compared to you. What are you gonna do? Uh, last round of daggers before I gotta do something different. Uh oh. Ten is no Which good. No bueno. Can I just roll the other ones right now? Yeah, go ahead. We'll just apply them at the end of the round. Cool. Double Those seven. are both hits. Yeah. Alright. Uh, right. Next up, the first lizard guy goes at a nine. So I think we have Victor first. What are you going to do, Vicky? Victor, move out of my way! I just look, look back. He's like struggling with his armor still, like he's just super hot. No, I'm, I have like some shorts and a belt on and the roots are around my ankles, but they're kind of like dangling there. Yeah, okay. he, he stripped off his armor. So he's just bare chested, sure. rippling in the the, the it, lamplight. Does the uh, heat continual light, light, Neil, it's pure daylight all around here. We can see him perfectly. Wonderful. But does the heated armor like light up the branches? Like, does it caught on fire? Do you want to go no, back to the back of the no. party and figure out if it's starting I, a fire I, I, back I, there? I, I, I want to like finish off the injured lizard. Okay. Basically. Go for it. Oh. oh, beautiful hit! You skewer it right in the lizard's gizzard. Oh. Unfortunately, it has two gizzards, so it survives. Oh, thank you. <laughs> How many little nicks is this lizard taken? All but one. 
We have uh, we we we're just scaling him. We're just scaling him. <laughs> oh, God. Alrighty. Uh, Rock, you just, like, get out of the way, I'm Victor. Leading, yeah, I'm, leading, I'm leading against the wall, kind of bit like you know. It, are they in like an open room beyond? Yes, but like Victor's at just past the entrance to this open room. So if you want to like push past him, the two of you are either going to be squeezing or you're going to have to like push far enough past him that you're going to invoke opportunity attacks from the enemies to get to a spot where you can fight effectively. I'm just so, saying, like, he, he's pretty strong. Like, so could I him. just like grab Victor, put him behind me, and stab the lizard man. Yeah. I want to give you some sort of option. I want to give you some sort of roll that, that could go poorly, so you can't just like per, like forever just exchange people back and forth without any, any foul play. Um, so why don't we say... Victor, make me a dexterity check. One, one of you gets to make a dexterity check. Um, to like duck in front or duck behind the other and switch I'm places. I'm the one moving. Okay, so you make oh. a dex check. A failure means you take an attack oh, no. of opportunity. Yeah. Okay, so you, whatever. You... Well, if I'm just gonna take, I'd say I just stumble out into the open anyway, yeah. and I'm like, oh shoot. You, you switch places with Victor, but in the process, a lizard sees an opening and stabs you with a 22, natural 19. That's a, that's a yeah, that's a double crit. Double? What's your Cause... AC? Uh, if I'm not wearing anything because I left it all back there, it's 12. AC 12. Right. Oh, yeah. so that is going to be 2, 4, 6, D. Yep, that's exactly four. what I was trying to avoid, boys. I thought they were all. Oh, no, wait, no. 5, 64. Let's see, what do we got here? What is that? These are the worst D4s in existence. <laughs> you cannot kill me ever. At all. You take 20 damage on wow. 64. Yeah. 4, 4, 4, 4, 3, 1. Neil's got freaking loaded dice. You uh, said 20 damage? 20 damage. Wait, right. wait, 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 wait. 4, 4, 4. 4, 4, 4, 4, 3, 1. So 4 oh, times okay. 5 is 20. Uh, it's a... Oh, All right. Oh, there you go. Uh, you clear by 10. You crit the lizard who just gutted you. I, I hope you don't drink too much because you only have one kidney? Or your liver is damaged? Something bad happens to you, but then you, you murder. Something strike. bad happens to me. I roll probably one of my worst crits. Yeah. You, you just bring but, your two-hander down on the side of the lizard's neck, kind of yeah. caving through its body. Not quite separating head from torso, but, like, it's dangling from some fleshy bits, you know? The oh, yeah. bone's broken. And I'm, but, like, I'm just now, like, covered in blood. I am angry-looking. God, are you this at is... less than half HP? No. All right. Uh... Barely, but no. <laughs> yeah, that nearly took half his HP. Wow. Uh, three more, and it would wow. have been. Okay. Yeah. That good. There's that dead lizard man. And that, kids, is why you never run around without Do armor. I consider this a public service announcement. Yeah, definitely. In sick condition, at least. Right. Right. Uh, the next lizard man's going to go at, tw at 10. Doesn't look like anyone else goes before that. Uh, now that the rock is in place, this... You're the new target for this guy who goes at 10 initiative. He hits you with a 14. Yeah, that'll hit. And deals to you six points of damage. Very well. Um, the next one goes at 14. They, the next two go at 14. So I think the rest of the players go now. Yeah, All Victor, right. you're, uh, you're up next. What? Nope, that's not, Never mind. Uh, Howard, oh. you're up next. Looking at the room. I stepped into the room now, so I'm definitely out of the way. Yeah, yeah. can I get past them? Uh, into the room? Yeah, the, the rock <laughs> has cleared an area to the left of the doorway, of this entryway. Uh, that's where the last one drops. So you can squeeze past the rock and around that corner to the left. Okay, well. Uh, but that I only engages you with the one lizard man in front of the rock. That's fine. How many more lizard men are left? There's one in front of you, one to your right, and then the caster is behind the guy in front of you. Is it possible? Can I not engage with the guy in front of the rock and get to the caster or no? 
Uh, it would provoke an attack of opportunity. I'll take it. I'm. I'd ask right. for him to get the one on my right. Uh, well, he. You go past the guy on the in front, and he takes a stab at you as you try and work your way around him. It is only Whoa. a ten to hit, so it's no good. Uh, and you close oh, of course, with the, the ten caster. happens to him. Mm -hmm. uh, of course. But you miss the caster. Uh, more accurately, your 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 sword slashes against his side, and you hear like the cracking of of uh, wood and branches and twigs as like little bits oh, of bark go well. scattering okay. all over the place. All right. Um, the caster gets his spell off, but hmm. this spell is a lot less useful when it's this late in the round. Uh, the area from the rock back begins to turn to mud. Hmm. Um, so, creatures attempting to move through an area softened into mud are reduced to a movement of 10 feet per round. Any creatures caught within the mud when the spell takes effect must roll saving throws versus paralyzation or lose the ability to move, attack, and cast spells for 1d2 rounds as they flounder in the muck. This will hit everyone except for Howard. But unfortunately... Including the lizard mans? Uh, no. Not Both including the lizard mans. Correct. I can give you a map if it if that would no, help. No, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so Mo Victor Rock saving throw versus spell. Oh, I thought I got to do my damage Wait, spell. I oh thought yeah, you can. Oh my god. Uh, no, paralyzation. Ooh. Yes, saving throw versus paralyzation. Uh, good damages uh, though. So freaking all I needed was an eleven. Ugh, you guys are floundering in the muck. Uh, Moe's daggers strike home, killing the last, the, the lizard man in front of the rock, just as like the, the mud starts to sink, uh, sink Mo up to his hips. Um, I'll roll a d2 for each of you to see how long you are floundering in this muck. Okay. And the last lizard man. Yep, because that one's dead. So the last one on the right uh, is gonna turn and kind of like switch positions. He's gonna like, uh, what do we call it? Um, He's gonna strafe around the rock a little bit so he can come and attack at Howard from the side uh, with a seven to hit, which is a miss. And we're gonna go to next round initiative. There are only two lizards left. So I know I'm floundering, but I'm still yes. going to make a freaking initiative roll. Go like I can it. actually do something. Wonderful. Uh, Alright, we are gonna just have to bust out the staff for the caster. Seven and eleven for Lizardman initiatives. Four, How? but I can't throw and I'm stuck in mud. No, yeah, you're, you're floundering. Victor's floundering, the rock is floundering. Uh, Howard, you go right after the caster brings his quarterstaff to bear against you. Uh, for a natural 20! Yes, go caster. Nice. Uh, quarterstaff damage is d4 plus 1. You take 2 points of damage as the caster bashes you over the head with his big lizard stick. And it's your turn, Howard. Uh, let's see chance? if I can actually Rock. hit anything. Oh, crit! I'm sorry. No. I forgot to... 20's a crit on you, right? No. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, it should yes. be my... He's, got, he's a... Oh, because you've got 19 AC, right? Because he's like a third yeah. level caster, so it's actually like a 21, but one nine AC. No, it's not a crit. Damn it. Okay. okay. Neil, are there any rocks in the mud? No. Maybe deep down. Why don't you dive under the mud and look for them? But there is one rock in the mud. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yeah, a very, like very that. angry rock. Um... <laughs> Let's see, rocks, rocks, rocks. Uh, there are some large stones. Well, no, because the whole area has been softened into mud. All the rocks were turned into mud. That's why you are in the situation you're in. Because it's the soften earth and stone spell. Um, so what, did you guys have anything, other actions you wanted to do while you're floundering? I mean, I attacked, I just can't roll like above a 10. Instead then? Can you what, I'd probably throw some mud at them. I want to throw a mud clod at the lizard man's face. You can go for it. Roll. Roll to hit. Fine. I 
I take some mud and I just apply it to my face. Like, like <laughs> yes. Uh, no, Rob, you're floundering in the mud. You miss. <laughs> I just throw mud. You just at. said I could. I said you could try. You could do whatever you want, but it's not going to happen. I don't this have is... to go anywhere to throw mud. But you you fact, lose all I'm attacks. I'm by ammunition. It's like if I was standing on a pile of daggers so I could throw daggers. <laughs> No, but any creature that caught within hurt. the mud when uh, loses the ability to move, attack, or cast spells. So you like go to throw mud, but the the momentum of you throwing like pushes you back, and your feet come up, and the mud ball like flies towards the ceiling, and you slop on the back. It's an can, evil second level spell. Can it hit me? Can it hit me like 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 that? Ah yes, more mud. <laughs> it like hits the I ceiling and plops so down onto Victor's face. Well, how is how is the wall here? Can I just climb the wall to get out of the mud? Um, ooh, you know what? You are a rogue. Yes, I am. But he lost on move. Um, no, yeah, it says you can't move. It's it's an aerial denial spell. Um, it only lasts for D two rounds though, so you'll be fine. You're just screwed for a little while here, mucking no, about. No, pro propellered. <laughs> <laughs> the last lizard man, the one with the spear, comes from Howard's side again with another seven to hit and misses. Uh, let's roll initiative for the next round, where all of you mudded people can act because you all rolled ones on your D2s, unfortunately, for the lizards. Yay. Well. Uh, fucking efficiency is 11 and nine for the spearman, 11 for the caster. So one more initiative roll here after that Please last Please do. One. Yes. Wow. Uh, Victor, you're first. Great. Uh, I guess I, like, I go out of the mud and like I approach, is there like a, a spear? There is a spearman who actually, because you guys were all mudded, he like skirted around you guys, then moved over towards Howard. So his back is actually to you right now um, as so he's raising his spear overhead for right. a strike I'm on Howard. I'm going to like turn around, like spin around and uh, like just try to uh, launch my rapier into his neck. All right, give me a roll to hit. Uh, plus two. Yep. Okay. So a plus six in total. Oh no. Ooh, oh, no. it doesn't work. The lizardman's spear misses Howard. Uh, actually, doesn't like hit his armor, but completely misses Howard altogether. Uh, but he sees you coming, whirls, and blocks your rapier with the haft of his shaft. Uh, this round, I will get. Un I think. Nope. I'll get un First attack this time, because you lost your attacks last round. Right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, next up is Rob at ten. All right. So I can just like normally do stuff now. Yep. Um. We'll say you managed to like scamper up onto the wall last round or something, so that you're out of the mucky now. That makes more sense. Does the muck turn back into normal dirt, or what happens here? No, it's still really muddy. It's like permanently muddy, but you've just like recovered from the the slipping and sliding. All right, I'll try to like scooch along the wall, holding on to things and not mm -hmm. be in the mud, and try to get past it into the room. You get past Howard. You get past the rock. Uh, and you're out. I'm sorry, you get past Victor and you get past... No, everyone's out. It's just you. Yeah, you're out. <laughs> it was just you left in the hallway. You, you you scamper along the wall and soon you're in this room. There's okay. one lizard spearman with his back to you and a caster. All right. Um, but now there's no such thing as a backstab attack, so it would just be regular attack. Right. Although rules as written, the backstab was very similar to this assassinate. They had to like not even be aware that you could be back there. That was quite is, there for, is there any bonus for back attack at all? Ben? Plus two to hit. That's good. All right. Um, I did take two weapon fighting. So all mm -hmm. I have, my two weapon proficiencies are dagger and two weapon. So can it's minus, it? minus zero with the first attack, minus two with the second attack. So yeah, you can make those attacks. Okay. And then question, it says in the description in the, the purple worm books, not, mm -hmm. not doing anything weird. That your reaction adjustment can negate the uh, yes. The gate. Yep. So just two. So attacks. it should be two regular attacks, probably a plus two each. 
All right. 18, yeah, 18 dex makes the first attack at, well, not a minus to hit, and the second attack only at a minus two to hit. Uh, 17 will stab it. 11 will not. Right. Uh, roll me some damage there. And those are actual normal daggers, so it's a whole d4. Watch me either one. Yeah. <laughs> you scale the lizard slightly. It becomes aware of your presence. Um, and it's flanked. Yeah. Uh, that was Rob at 10. The raw Howard at 13. Okay, I'm going to stab the little soldier lizard, not the caster. You're no, going I'm... to attempt to. No, wait, that's a d10. That's my initiative oh. again. Sorry. You got flanking on hey, it. Hey, you hit him. <laughs> oh my god, I hit something. You Once. did it, finally. Once. You kill him. You actually bring him down. Hey. Uh, meanwhile, while you're doing this, because the caster goes at the finally. same initiative as you, the caster himself brings his quarterstaff to bear, going right for your head, but you, you duck as part of your attack. You know, you kind of lean forward and the, the staff swings over with a little bit of a whistle. And then the rock, last but not least. I am very angry. I am fed up with all this crap. All these freaking lizards in here. You hit the caster. And I thought the caster died. Nope, the other guy nope. died. Oh, the, the spearman died? Mm -hmm. Yep. Are you oh, okay. tired of all these snakes? I'm tired of all these snakes in this freaking <laughs> library. Right. The caster is not yet dead, but I have a feeling this will be our last round of initiative. Please roll it while I try and figure and out the like, caster's spell. He's mine! <laughs> Probably will with my initiative roll. Yeah, I think the rock <laughs> might get it. Thank you. Thank you, roll 20, for cooperating with me. <laughs> um, Caster screwed up here. <laughs> Maybe we should give him a morale check. What's he gonna do? Run? He could surrender. <laughs> I mean, it might not go well, but he could try. Anyway, what do they have for morale? H I he can certainly try. He can try anything, man. You can try. Morale is 14. This guy's probably got slightly higher morale. You know what? This is a pat. Oh, wait, he'll, he lost a bunch of his people. You know what? He still passes. He's not surrendering or anything like that. Uh, <laughs> He's got freaking Rock, who's covered from the lower half in brown, in the upper half in red. All right. The caster rolls a six on initiative. Uh, that's the first person to go. He whirls his staff hand, end over end and thrusts it for the rocks, like gaping wounded hole where he got quadruple crit or triple critted or whatever. Come no on, crit. caster, you can do it with an 11 to hit. <laughs> Dance out of the way. Uh, so it's more of like a staff thrust, and it hits just high enough that it like hits your ribs and is insignificant and in causing you pain and suffering. But had it been two inches no, lower, it would have like Neil. That that AC is because of Dex. So I literally just like. <laughs> All right. You, you dodge it. You whirl with it, and bring and... your sword to bear against him, hitting him for enough damage to kill him. The caster goes down, his head rolls across the floor, kind of like a, a bottle cap that just won't stop rolling and rolling and rolling until it <laughs> lands itself in the very mud that the caster created. Perfect. <sighs> the lizards are dead. Yeah. You guys have Coward. a moment to look around the room you're in. Okay, freaking, so... Freaking, mu freaking mudblood. Freaking. At least get now it shot. Um, now, hold on. Yeah. We're actually overdue for our break. So we're going to take a break. Okay. I'll let you guys think about what you're going to do during the break. And when we come back, we'll continue our session. See you guys on the other side. All right. Excellent.